Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, <clears throat> this paper that I'm going to go through is the January 2023 International A-Level Mechanics M1 paper from Edexcel. Um, I'm going to go through um, each question one at a time, saving them in a separate video so I can save the questions according to the paper, which is this paper, and also according to the topic that that question is from to make um, you know a useful playlist you know which people can look at if they're going through a particular topic and um, yeah I'm going to I'm not going to be like a walking mark scheme as I mentioned a few times so I'm going to actually try to explain some of the details of the topic some of the basics to try and help those students who need some extra support so that's my objective not just to talk my way through the mark scheme and just just copy it down basically no that's not what I'm planning to do I'm planning to try to explain each question um, you know sometimes I might go into some detail all right so without further ado I'm going to go through question number one so question number one is about a train which travels along a straight horizontal track between two stations A and B the train starts from rest at station A and accelerates uniformly for t seconds until it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second the train then travels at a constant speed of 20 meters per second for three minutes before decelerating uniformly until it comes to rest at station B. So the magnitude of the acceleration of the train is twice the magnitude of its deceleration. So on the axis below, sketch a speed time graph to illustrate the motion of the train as it moves from station A to station B. Okay, so now it starts from rest. So it's going to start from, from rest over here, all right? At zero time at zero minutes is going to be going at a speed of zero meters per second okay so this is tracking its speed then it says after 20 seconds so I'll put 20 here uh, sorry after after t seconds it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second so there's 20 here after t seconds let's put t here okay so basically it's going to reach, let me just make that a bit thinner, it's a bit too thick there. Okay, it's going to go from rest and it's going to reach, after 20 seconds, a speed of 20 meters per second. Okay, so I'll just do this. Okay, just make sure that's straight. That's fine. Okay. So that's after t seconds, it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second. Okay. Then it says it continues on at this speed of 20 meters per second for three minutes. Okay, this, this is in terms of seconds. Three minutes, we have to think about three minutes as three times 180, uh, three times 60, sorry, um, seconds that will be 180 so let's say it goes up to here okay so by the time it ends here it's going to be in terms of minutes it's going to be t plus 180 because 60 minutes uh, three minutes three times 60 is 180 seconds okay so that's t plus 180 by the time it reaches this point then it says it decelerates to rest at B. Now, it says the magnitude of the acceleration is twice the magnitude of the deceleration. Now, what we should understand is the acceleration in a speed time graph is given by the gradient of the graph. It's given by the gradient of the graph. So we should understand that the gradient or the steepness of the graph in the beginning must be greater than the steepness of the graph when it's decelerating. So it's going to be, the slope's going to be like um, a magnitude less than that. So this is going to be steeper than the, the second part. So the second part here, it's going to be going at a, a gradient which is uh, less steep than the initials. All right, so if you, you must show that in your diagram. You must show this is more steep than this. Okay, the acceleration here is twice acceleration there. We, should, we must show that. For us to be able to uh, get the marks the full marks for this diagram because it mentions it very clearly all right and it it goes it says until for three minutes it, 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 it decelerates before it comes to rest at b 
Okay, so now what that means is the time it took to accelerate, okay, is half the time it took to decelerate because it took twice the time to um, basically come to rest. All right, if this is if this if the gradient of this is steeper, twice as steep as this, basically, okay, the gradient of this is twice as steep as this, then th that means this must be, you know, twice the time. So this must be from here to here must be two t. Okay, we can prove that also if you're if you're not sure. That must be from there to there must be two times t. If this is t, this is twice t. So here that means that's going to be three t plus one eighty. Okay, plus one eighty. Three t plus one eighty. Let me just write that in a bit clearer. clearer. That's three t plus one hundred and eighty. That's the time it comes to us because this is two t. All right, and you know, for example, here we can say that uh, the gradient of the first part first part there we can say the gradient of the first part is the change in y over the change in x which is 20 over t let's call that gradient one okay or let's call that m okay and we know that the second part you have uh, 20 over let's call it x we don't know what it is right now but that's going to be a half m that gradient of this is a half of that in terms of its magnitude all right so what we can say is, if we want to find what x is, all right, so x is going to be, this is 20 times 2, which is 40, okay, this is 40 over, um, this is this is m, okay, this is 40 over um, x equals, sorry, what am I doing here, if you want to find what x is, 20, t, 20 over t is m. So this could be a half times m. So this 20 over x equals a half times 20 over t. Okay, which is going to be 10 over t. So we can say x is going to be 2 times t. Okay, if you rearrange that, x is 2 times t. So we can work out that this is 2t just by logic. You don't have to use this, you know, algebraic method. Okay, but you can if you want to. That's fine if it helps you understand it. But basically the acceleration here is twice the acceleration there uh, the magnitude of the acceleration so it's going to take it twice as long to come to rest as it did to speed up to that same speed 20 meters per second all right so that's what we can understand how that's how we can draw the speed time graph we should show these values we should have this steeper than that now it's accelerating uniformly means it's a straight line decelerating uniformly means it's a straight line okay and then it says stations a and b are 4.8 kilometers apart find the value of t All right so this is measured in meters per second so we can say the distance in terms of meters is 4800 meters so we know that the distance is given by the area under a speed time graph so here we have like a trapezium okay so the area of the trapezium is basically the distance between the parallel sides which is the distance between 0 and 20 which is 20 divided by 2 times the sum of the parallel sides well you've got this distance here okay the sum of the parallel sides would would mean um, that distance plus that dis uh, plus plus sorry that distance the whole thing okay from there to there okay so the whole thing is basically 3t plus 180 so that's one of the parallel sides plus this parallel side so this is t this is t plus 180 so this this is 180 that's how long it was going for that constant speed for and all together that whole area of all this trapezium must be 4800 okay so that the distance covered is 4800 meters so if i solve this for t this is going to give me 10 if i cancel that it gives me 10 and then i can cancel the zero from there and there so i'm left with 3t plus 360 is equal to 480 so 3t is equal to 480 minus 360 so 3t is equal to that's 120 so t is equal to 120 divided by 3 so t is equal to 40 okay so 40 is the value of t all right t seconds so it's 40 seconds okay so that's going to be 40 that's going to be 180 plus 40 which is 220 and that's going to be um, uh, 3t 
plus 180, that's going to be um, 3 times 40, which is 120, plus 180, that's going to be 300, right? That's through 120 plus 180, 300. Okay, so that's the total time, 300 seconds. All right, so we had to find the, the value of T, so we found it. All right, now for part C, it says, find the acceleration of the train during the first T seconds of its motion. So basically, we know that this is 40 here. All right, so we need to find the gradient of this section, which is the change in Y over the change in X. Okay, so we can say the acceleration is equal to the change in Y, which is 40, over the change in X, which is 20. Okay, so it's, sorry, 20 over 40, the other way around. So it's good to have the diagram in front of you when you're doing this. So it's the change in Y over the change in X, which in this case is the change in the, the, the speed over the change in the time, which is going to be 20 over 40, which is 0 0.5 meters per second squared. That's acceleration of the train during the first T seconds of its motion. And that concludes this question, which is question number... But I could have fit that in the bottom here. But anyway, question number one from the January 2023 M1 paper. Important points here for the graph. Acceleration being twice as much here as it is there. You can work out um, that it must be steeper when you draw it than that side. And you can work out if that acceleration here is double, um, the, the, the magnitude of the acceleration there. Okay, then basically it's going to take twice as long to slow down as it did to speed up to that same speed. All right, and that, that's the key here for us to be able to answer the question. And the area under the graph is the distance traveled. And the distance was given in kilometers. This is in meters per second, so we must change it to meters when we use it in our formula. Okay, that's an important thing. And, um, and then the acceleration is the gradient of the graph, which is the change in y, 20 over the change in x, which is 40. And that concludes this question number one from January 2023. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of speed time graphs or travel graphs in general can be found in this um, playlist over here. This is for M1. Um, and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link. You can watch the video that will appear in this region here to find out how to use my channel to help you revise for your exams. Thank you for watching and see you soon.